You ready to go fishing? No, it's not time to say eat good yet. We gotta catch the eat goods. What's up everybody? I got marks all over the... Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. We are out at our home lake and uh, my buddy Trey, he's out of town and I texted him up and asked him if we could come do a little fishing with Ryder off the houseboat. So thank you Trey for letting us come out here. So I just went to the store. We just got done eating dinner and uh, nice little evening. It was like 108 today, so that was not fun. So we decided to wait till just about dark to come out here. It actually feels pretty nice, but got some ice. Just went to the gas station and uh, picked up a loaf of bread, some weights and some little perch hooks. And then I brought one little rod, so. I'm gonna get this rigged up and then we'll see you down there on the dock. Hopefully we catch some big old bluegills. Daddy! Daddy! What? Let's go catch some fish. Okay. Ryder, are you feeding them? You chumming them up for us? Look at all of them. This is fishing in a barrel. Ryder, is that cool? So concentrated. Fish. Catch fish! All right, this is this could be Ryder's first official fish if he's gonna reel the whole thing in. All right, we're gonna cast it in. Oh, terrible first cast. All right, get ready. Got him, reel, reel. Oh, it's a big one. It's a big one. Hold him. You got him? I'll hold that. Please. You want to hold him? Yes. Easy. Easy. I don't want him to spy you. What? Here, look. Put your thumb in his mouth. Like this. It's fine. Look. Hold him like this. Put your thumb in his mouth. Now grip. Grip hard. Hard. Hold him. Grip it. Hard. Wow. You okay? Don't let him get away. That's dinner. Oh. oh. All right, we gotta catch another one. Here. We gotta get him back. Back to feeding. <laughs> oh, that was a giant. Are oh, we throwing whole pieces in now? Give me a good piece of that. Some giants coming in. Don't get close to the edge. Ready? All right. Get ready to reel. They're all coming for it. There we go. Woohoo! Oh. Oh, you want to hold him? Yes. Get him. Get him. That one's too small to keep. Pick him up. Throw him back in. These fish are getting smart on us. We've thrown like 10 pieces of bread in, so. And Ryder's over here eating our bait. He doesn't get, uh, we don't feed him fake white bread at home, so this is a treat for him. I'm waiting on a big boy to come eat it. Like that one. Look, Ryder. Look. A big one. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm? Oh no. 
What? Hello. He's not getting away. You want to eat him? You want to take him home and eat him? You going to feed him? His last meal? Good job. That's a big one. That is a jumbo. Is he splashing you? I know. I know. Hmm? You want to touch him? Is that cool? You want to take him home and eat him too? Yeah. We gotta catch a few more for dinner. Or this will be lunch tomorrow. Hold it. Hold it. You got him. You got him. Real. Right or real? Yeah! Good job, Bubba. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no. He's I not gonna get away. I pet him. Huh? Pet him. Bye. You wanna pet him? Yes. You wanna keep that one too? That's a good one. All right, let's catch two more. One, two, three. Here you go, hold it. Don't reel it yet, don't reel it yet. Let him eat it. You got him, oh, I missed him. Oh, you got him that time. Reel, reel. Woohoo, you got another one. Eye. You want to touch his eye? I'll touch him. All right, let's put him in. Okay. All right, Ryder. Here you go. Oh. Oh, they're all going for it. You got him. Real. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you caught him. I took a worm. I took a worm. I took a eye. You gonna throw this one back? All right, let's throw it back. One, two, three. In. Here you go. Hold it. Hold it. Okay. Real. Oh, we caught a. Oh, he got off. I did. Huh? I did die. We got him. Real. Real. <laughs> he got off. Well, that was a nice, beautiful little evening of fishing. It doesn't take long to get enough food to uh, feed us three. So, all right, did you have fun? Uh, yes. You sleepy? Past your bedtime. <laughs> so we got a uh, full cooler of big bluegill. Hey, it's not time. We haven't eaten yet. So I'm going to go home and uh, clean these up. And then we'll cook them up for lunch tomorrow. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you all how to clean a bluegill. I'm using this new knife made by Sword. They sent me some knives. They're awesome packaging. Handle feels awesome. So we're going to test these out and see how they go. Got a bowl with ice water 
you know, we're gonna put the fillets in there. I'm gonna clean it like I normally would, just straight down. Run your knife down that backbone. Pop through, this knife is insanely sharp. It's brand new out of the package, so gotta be careful with this guy. And we're just gonna break through a few of those little pin bones. Follow those ribs down. Cut through. There's one beautiful bluegill fillet. Come to this other side. Same thing. If y'all remember the last bluegill video I did, I cut my finger pretty bad, I'm not paying attention, so I am paying attention on these guys. Cut down, cut through, there's two fillets. Now we're gonna take this. Now we're gonna take this meat off the skin. This knife is insane how sharp it is just like that there's a clean bluegill fillet right in that ice water same on this one now if you have a bunch of pan fish to clean i suggest using an electric knife it's just easier but so there you have it I mean, the, the meat that you yield off of a bluegill is really insane how much meat they have on them. I mean, that right there is a fish taco for one. So I got about 10 more to clean, and then I'll see you guys in the kitchen. We'll cook these up for lunch. All right, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to make fried bluegill. Two ingredients, that's all you need. Uh, I put a bunch away. Angel and Ryder. Ryder had swim lessons this morning, so I'm going to cook these tonight for them. Uh, but I'm gonna cook a few up for me for lunch. So two ingredients cornmeal critter glitter fish and fowl That's all you need and we got some oil heating up over here in the pan We're gonna take a little bit of this Cornmeal and put it in a ziploc. I dried my fillets off made sure there wasn't any rib bones or anything still attached to them So you don't need a whole lot of cornmeal uh, a little goes a long way and then Instead of mixing this and wasting seasoning in your cornmeal, we're just going to dust our fillets off and that will stick to it. And then we're going to dump our fillets right into the cornmeal. You don't need an egg wash, you don't need anything like that. Zip it up, shake it. You're ready for the frying pan. So I actually have a little bit of coconut oil in here. That's a lot more healthy than vegetable oil. So we're just going to take our fillets right out of this bag, drop it in, let that, let that start cooking up. Our crispies are golden. Let those rest on a paper towel for a second. Let all that grease drain off of them and let them cool down. And then we're gonna do a little taste testing. All right guys, you know the rules. Fried fish here in Texas has to be paired with some Whataburger spicy ketchup. So we're gonna take a little bit of this over there. Fresh bottle. We've been out for a while. Take a little bite of this bluegill, the white flaky meat. It's it's almost, you wanna say it's better than crappie, but you can just catch so much more crappie. I still have to put crappie above bluegill, but one out of 10 fried fish with spicy ketchup. Always a solid nine. It doesn't get better than that right there. Perfect midday snack. I love eating bluegill. So y'all leave it in the comments, still really hot. Y'all leave it in the comments what y'all's favorite way is to cook these little pan fish. 
I don't think you can beat fried, but y'all leave in the comments what y'all do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Ryder's first real fish that he's caught. Got a bunch in the boat with us, but he's never really held the pole. He just kind of touches it. So hope you guys enjoyed that little video for you guys. Uh, we had a blast and we're definitely gonna be out there doing it again. So enjoy this simple cornmeal recipe. Uh, this is what we always do. It's always turns out amazing. And uh, we eat it all the time. Before you go, make sure to go down to my description box, click the link mulletman.net and you can go support the channel by getting hats, shirts, hoodies, uh, Mullet Man bait co baits, as well as our spices. You can get the Mullet Man Critter We have five spices out now uh, if you're new to the channel and they are amazing. So y'all go check those out. I'll catch you in the next video. Hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up and remember, eat good.